Hi everyone, Sarah here. Um, I have a project to share with you guys. It's been a while since I've done something like this. It's actually a mixed media project. Um, I have the full process video for you guys and I'm going to share the product at the end of the video because right now it's at work <laughs> and I am not. Um, so I just wanted to quickly share with you guys um, a lot of the items. Most of them came from the Not Too Shabby Shop. I'll have all the information down below for you guys. So check it out. Um, this is just an extra project I'm doing for you guys. It's kind of like my on vacation project. Um, so let me quickly show you um, the uh, mixed media project itself was made on an 8x8 canvas that I picked up from the dollar store. Nothing fancy, just a plain 8x8 canvas. I didn't prime it or anything, um, I just immediately started working on it. So for the stamp set, I used Mermazing by MFT Stamps and these were images that I had already stamped out and colored up with Copic markers, so I just decided to place them on this project. For the dies that I used, um, one of them is from the Frantic Stamper, it's the Seaweed and an Enemy, an Enemy. <laughs> Um, I, these are from my design team from Frantic Stamper, so you can see some of them here that I didn't use in the project. These ones were done on um, white paper and sprayed with Glimmer Mist, and then these ones are just on navy blue cardstock. So that's extras. And then this is the big coral piece. This was the one that I picked up at a garage sale. They are Sizzix dies, but they, it wasn't a complete set. It's just these holly leaves and then this one. And I think there's like a set of four, but this was the way I purchased them from the garage sale. And I just thought this would be a perfect piece for coral and seaweed, stuff like that. So that's that one. And then for the words, I die cut them from this die set from MFT and this is the stitched alphabet. Very, very nice. And for these ones, I die cut them out of the 110 pound Recollections black cardstock. I cut two out and glued them together. So um, you won't see that part on the video, but that's what I did for them just so that they would pop out a little bit extra. All right, so the canvas. I will talk you through on the process video as I'm doing it, but just to show you guys up close, these are Glimmer Mists that I picked up at Tuesday morning. Um, I don't think they actually have names for the colors. They just have their little stickers. So there's like a blue and a green. And then I also used these, which I have been picking up slowly from Michaels whenever they're on clearance. So I have the teal. It's metallic texture paste from Heidi Swap. And then this one is the mint. And then I also added in some gold. And then for the bottom of the canvas, I wanted something to look like sand. So I just, um, I didn't have anything like that. So what I did was I took this jar of Aileen's Glitter Snow. Very, very old. <laughs> this is from my ceramic days when I used to paint ceramics. Um, so there was just a little bit left in here. So basically what I did was I dropped in some Walnut Stain Distress Ink Reinker to color it. I did a little bit too much, so it ended up being a little bit dark, but it still turned out very, very nice for the project. So that's all I did because it still looks like sand and it's got glitter in it. Worked out perfectly. And then at the end of the project, I added in some... Uh, little dots of Nouveau Jewel Drops and then I also covered the letters with this one here. This is the Translucent Sea Breeze. So I used that on the letters and then also made some little dots throughout the canvas and then I also did Grey Mist and then I used this lemon Limoncello on the little stars on the mermaids heads. So right here. Alright, so those are all the products that I used. I am going to put in the process video, talk you through a little bit of it, and then you will also see the finished product at the end. Alright, I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I'm going to apologize now. This is going to be a long video. These are just the images and everything laid out, just how I wanted them to be on the canvas. So then here is my 8x8 canvas. Again, I got it from the dollar store. And uh, to start off, I am just using the Glimmer Mists. Again, there's no names on them. There's just one is blue and one is green. Um, I started off with the green first, just to kind of put around a good base. And then I wanted the blue around the edges. And I just added a ton of Glimmer Mist, smooshed it around a little. <laughs> and then I did use my heat gun to dry it off. And I did not um, do any gesso on the canvas. I just did it straight the way it came from the dollar store. Just pulled the plastic on and started coloring it up. And again, I'm just tilting it as I'm drying it so that the colors move around and blend. And I don't get any harsh lines. It does take a bit to get it to dry just straight on the canvas. But I was just wanting to do all of this all in one sitting, so. You can see the shimmer really show as it starts to dry. So pretty. <laughs> All right, so the next I'm bringing out the um, the texture paste from Heidi Swap, and I just used a little spreader tool that I have. It's just from Michaels from the mixed media art items, and I just um, squeezed out a little bit, not a ton, um, in different spots, and then just spread it back and forth with my spreader and then just added each color separately, doing the same thing. You just have to watch, because of the um, wood frame around the canvas, it kind of stops at a certain point, because it feels the wood, so you need to put it all the way to the edges if you want it. And then lastly, I added in the gold. And I did dry it off with the heat tool. Um, you really shouldn't heat up texture paste too much because then it does bubble, but I did want it to be a little bit textury on it. And then to blend all that in, I added some more of the blue shimmer spray. Just trying to clean as I went. <laughs> Alright, so I laid out everything how I wanted it. Again, this is what I used was the um, Snow Tex glitter um, and put the Distress Ink Reinker in it. And I'm just using one of my spreader tools to put it on. Not too, too thick, but I did want it to look like sand and kind of cover up the blue of the water. I just kind of played around with it until it looked the way I wanted it to.
get a little bit of texture. I just did dabbed it up and down a little bit. So there it is, and then I just let it dry. Okay, so I let it dry, but um, it was a little bit wet still when I put in the um, the image of the rock because I wanted to push it down in so that the sand smooshed out around it. And I am putting everything on my canvas with the multimedia mat um, from Ranger. That way, any if anything smooshes out, it uh, will dry clear. This one die cut I forgot to show in the beginning of the video. This is also a Frantic Stamper die cut. It's the um, sunken ship. Very, very cool. I did already have this one colored up and um, was on a, a very plain card and I pulled it off because I really wanted to use it in this, um, in this canvas. So again, just multimedia matte and pushing everything down. It wasn't all totally flat. There were some pieces of the coral that are sticking up. And then um, pretty much everything I just had already kind of placed it so I knew where I wanted it to go. So I was just putting it all back on. And I wanted this one to look like she was holding the little shell that came with the stamps. It just fits perfectly in her hand, so. And I did, this is the part I believe um, I realized I should put something underneath, so I just had some six by six paper pads and that way I can push down on the canvas and it doesn't, it has a hard surface to push against. And all of these images were colored with Copic markers and then some glitter was added in with the Spectrum Noir sparkle pens that are from Jamie's shop from Not Too Shabby Shop. The little um, Nemo fish that I colored up did have some white gel pen on it also. And then the last mermaid, I did use some foam tape because she's sitting up on top of the rock. So I just put foam tape on the back of her um, so that it would look like it's sitting on top. And I did still put some multimedia mat on the foam tape just because of all the glimmer, shimmer mist, and texture paste on the canvas. I wanted to make sure that it stuck really well. Okay, so then the next thing that I added is the letters. Again, I die cut these out of 110 pound cardstock. I did um, two layers and glued them together first. And then I glued these on with the multimedia mat. Thought I lost my eye for a little bit, but I found it.
and there was a piece of the boat that was sticking up so to get the multimedia mat in I just used my little spreader it's the easiest way to do that and then I decided to stick down some other pieces that were sticking up too Now once I got all these letters glued on in the right spot, I brought out the um, Nouveau Crystal Drops in the translucent colors. I did show which colors I used at the beginning of the video. And basically what I did was I filled in um, the letters, the on vacation letters, because they were just matte black and I didn't want them to just, I wanted them to stand out a little bit nicer and not just a matte black cardstock. So to make them kind of blend in with the water, I used the clear blue translucent um, Nouveau Crystal Drops and made them nice and shiny. And then I added in some other dots with the Nouveau Crystal Drops throughout the canvas and also added um, off camera, I believe, the yellow onto the stars in their hair just so that they would stand out a little bit, um, a little bit nicer. I did have the... Um, spectrum Nora glitter pen on the stars but I just wanted them to stand out a little bit more from the hair because the hair also has the glitter in it too. Alright so um, you can watch the rest of this. I will insert a photo of the canvas if you want to stop it so that you can see and I'll also post some pictures on Instagram to share with you guys. Alright hope everybody has a great week. Um, please leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you in about a week and a half. All right, bye.